हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एरे ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स सो फर्स्ट टेक अ लुक ऑन दिस स्ट्रक्चर डिक्लेरेशन इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर डिक्लेरेशन वी हैव टोटल थ्री मेंबर्स फर्स्ट इज रोल नंबर सेकेंड इज नेम एंड थर्ड इज मार्क्स नेम ऑफ दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज स्टूडेंट सो नाउ द प्रॉब्लम इज वी वॉन्ट टू स्टोर रोल नंबर नेम एंड मार्क्स ऑफ टेन स्टूडेंट सो वी हैव डिक्लेयर एन एरे ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर named as s and the size of this array is 10 here is the memory location of this array of structure which contains total 10 blocks here each block will be further divided into three parts so first part will store roll number of a student second part will store name and third part will store marks of a student the size of this first block whose index is 0 is 16 bytes to store information of second uh, student we have another block which will be further divided into three parts to store roll number name and marks respectively the size of this block will also be 16 bytes and the index is 1 so to store third uh, students information we have index number 2 and so on we have 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9th index so total we have 10 blocks to store roll number name and marks of 10 students individually if we calculate total uh, uh, size of this array of structure it will be 160 bytes because uh, we are uh, occupying 16 bytes to store information of a student and we are calculating total uh, size which is equivalent to 16 into 10 which is 160 bytes now Uh, with the help of this program we can understand the concept of array of structure in this program we are going to read roll number name and marks of 10 students and it will print a uh, name of those students whose marks is greater than 75 so uh, here first of all this array uh, this structure is declared further to store information of 10 students we have declared array of structure for loop process Uh, we have uh, used or declared variable i as we all know in case of array we have only one variable so that it can be repeated with the help of loop so in this loop uh, we have mentioned the statement s of i dot name s of i dot roll number and s of i dot marks so here uh, value of i will be changed every time the loop uh, rotates so first time value of i is 0 so it will read uh, name roll number and marks of first student and these information will be stored in uh, inside the zeroth index after first rotation value of i becomes 1 so the statements will be s of 1 dot name s of 1 dot roll number and s of 1 dot marks so the information of second student will be stored inside the index number 1 and this process uh, will repeat 10 times so that uh, information of 10 students will be stored at uh, 10 individual places inside array of structure after successful uh, uh, reading of uh, 10 students information uh, the the second loop will identify uh, names of those students whose marks is greater than 75 uh, for this purpose we have mentioned this condition in this condition uh, it is checking s of i dot marks greater than 75 so again value of i will be replaced uh, first from 0 then 1 then 2 so if s of 0 dot marks it means the marks which are uh, stored inside the index number 0 is greater than 75 then uh, zeroth index name will be printed on console after first rotation value of i becomes 1 so if condition will become s of 1 dot marks greater than 75 it, if it is true then put us will print a uh, name of uh, the student whose information stored on one index so this process also repeats 10 times so that uh, whose names will be printed on screen uh, whose marks is greater than 75 so uh, you can uh, easily analyze that uh, if you want to store more than one information of different different uh, data types so first we can declare a structure then we can uh, convert that structure variable into array of structure and with the help of loop we can manage uh, n number of information using only one variable 
now it's your turn uh, you have to implement these two programs with the help of previous program which i explained uh, the first program is uh, write a program to read book number name and price of 10 books now print book number and name of those books whose price is between 500 to 1000 The second program is write a program to read employee ID name and department of 10 employees now print ID and name of those employees whose department is sales so implement these programs so that you can understand the concept of area of structure thank you